Hey everyone, Ace Brown here, and today we are going to talk about Victory Metal cards, in particular the English variations of these, which were released uh, between 2007 to 2011 at the Battle Road Spring and Battle Road Autumn tournaments. Uh, now these were awarded to participants. Uh, at these tournaments, I'm not sure if it was designated just to the winners of the tournament or just everybody who participated got a copy of these cards. Uh, and also, I think these were also given out at tournaments in Europe, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Uh, somebody down in the comments just let me know whether or not that is true or not. Now, these were given out or they came in three card packs like this. Now these cards are very hard. They're not exactly very hard to come by, but they are hard to come by. Uh, even in PSA graded copies, they these are extremely hard to grade. It's almost impossible to get a 10. Uh, if I look at the data, According to the PSA, as of right now, uh, 2007 spring, only 110. 2007 autumn, only three tenths. Spring of 2008, five. Autumn 2008, three. Spring of 2009, zero tenths. And autumn of that time frame, also two. And 2010, only two in spring and three in autumn. And then 2011, only three tenths. So these are very hard to grade. Right out the package, cards are generally going to be off-centered. And they usually have corner damage. Now, we will be opening this up later in the video. But as you can see... These can all have certain corner damage, like right there. Hard to see on camera, but there you go. Even on this one. Corner and edge where all over the place. Now, I'm not sure. Oh, there we go. The cards don't really vary in difference too much from 2007 to 2009 or 2010, uh, except for the very first edition of it, the 2007 version, you know, has just a little bit of the EX series kind of style going through it. And then 2008 onward to 2010. So 2008, 2009, 2010 kind of are the exact same aside from the actual stamped year that these were released. And then in 2000. 11, they kind of went more towards a heart gold, so silver look of cards, as you can see. And they feature Typhlosion instead of Pikachu. I kind of like these cards a little bit, just because they are kind of unique. And they only had releases <clears throat> in Japan and... U.S. Okay, so let's move on to just opening this pack so you can see kind of what I'm talking about with just general condition of these cards straight out of the pack. Uh, like I said, seeing, seeing it right now, you can see that the top card 
is off-centered. In particular, this one's more of a top to bottom, but this is actually one of the better copies that I've seen of this. Usually they're really heavily like left to right. And then the corners are you more than often just dented to all hell. So let's see if we can get lucky for this part. The card I'm most concerned with is the middle card because the middle card tends to have the least amount of damage and can't really see it from here. So maybe we'll get lucky and have one that's actually perfectly centered. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what we get. So straight out of the pack. Let's set this one down and we'll go with top card first. Very nice. And let's check out the back side. And this one's not looking too bad, but as you can see, a little bit of corner wear there, corner wear here. It's like edge wear here and corner there so we'll sleep this up and then uh hopefully we'll send it in and see what we get out of this but if i had to guess this is going to be either nine or an eight at best All right now for, well, let's save the middle card for last. We'll take a look at this bottom card. Like I said, very nice. You know, actually the centering isn't too bad on this. Um, hopefully it makes a 60-40, but oh man, right there. You can see a little bit of a dot right here. And other than that, you know, the back isn't too bad. Definitely off center from left to right and up and down. Oh, and this one. You can see that right there. Even straight out of the pack, somebody must have had this like, they were writing something on top of this or whatever, because you could see a little bit of indentation right here. I don't know if that's easy to see or not. Yeah. But might not have to send this thing because this is even with that indentation, it'll be like a six or a seven. All right, moment of truth. The middle card, the one that is least likely to be damaged and also isn't too bad. So let's see. All right, so we don't have that little dot in the center here. Okay, that's good. Centering is, you know, normal. And then, let's take a look. So, left to right, definitely off just a little bit. And then, corner damage, just a little bit here and a little bit here. Let's see if there's any of that denning or whatever. Nope, still not there. So this one's gonna be a solid copy. Probably gonna be a nine at best. That's what I mean when I say these cards are really extremely hard to grade. They get 
ninths a ton, and then there's eights, sevenths. Uh, I have a few copies here that are graded. Now these ones are mislabeled, as you can see, 2008. And then the date here is what, 2009, 2010. Kind of see these a lot online where they'll just be sent in as 2008 Pokemon Spring Victory Medals. I don't know why that happens. Maybe it's just whoever submits them doesn't really know, or maybe at PSA they just mess it up and mislabel it. But at some point, I'll send these in to get relabeled as 2010s. But for now, just leave them in the case. Alright guys, that's it. Uh, please let me know down in the comments what you guys think. Uh, if you've ever opened any of these yourself in the three car packs, I know they're kind of extremely rare to get inside a pack. And, you know, also whether or not these actually had a European release or not, I'm still unsure. I can't really find any hard information on whether or not they were released in Europe at tournaments or was it just kind of segmented to the u.s and that is it so all right till next time thanks